So let's try this now. There are so many reasons to have an underwater ROV on board. First of all, and to a certain degree, you can replace diving yourself. Yeah, let's check the propeller as well. You can check your underwater hull, rudder and propeller. With 6000 lumen LED lights and a 4K wide angle camera, it's easy to see the details and get a good impression of the status under the waterline. If you lose anything overboard, you might have a chance to pick it back up. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do now is to sacrifice my uh, boatman hook. I'm gonna drop it into the water and the drone is ready. And we're gonna see if he can find it. 17 meters of depth. Okay. Oh shit. No, it's floating. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, glad I, have to, glad I have the drone then to pick it up. With having 360 degrees omnidirectional movement, it is no problem to maneuver the grip claw in the right position to get a hold of the item. So there are many good reasons to have this thing on board. Here I'm checking my moorings for my floating dock where Tessie is tied up. It's great to know that everything looks good down there before the upcoming winter storms set in. At last I wanted to dive down to check my anchor hold. I used my chain as a leading line until I reached the seabed 70 meters below. From there it was just to proceed tracking the chain along the bottom. Eventually the anchor showed up crystal clear and it seemed to sit just fine. Easy peasy. Let's try the VR goggles. So then we have to enter goggle mode here. So that means that when I move my head the drone will come after my, my movements. Alright, so that's it. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Five Fish. Amazing equipment. I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that and uh, enjoy for the time coming. Really nice. So now I'm just gonna head back home.